Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 18. And in this tutorial, I am going to show you guys how to use the bootstrap navbar component. And um, if you take a look at this navbar real quick, you'll notice that it actually reuses a lot of elements that we've already spoken about in quite a few other tutorials. So uh, first of all, the search is actually a form which we uh, made use of or we talked about forms in uh, tutorial number 11. So uh, yeah, like we've already learned how to code these elements from scratch and uh, what those classes do and so on. Then we have this navigation because this is a nav bar which we spoke about in the previous tutorial. And we have drop downs, which we spoke about not only in the previous tutorial, but the tutorial before that. And yeah, like these are all um, like certain elements that we'd have to recode in this tutorial uh, if I coded this from scratch. So to save a lot of time, instead of coding all of this from the beginning, I'm gonna go over to the Bootstrap website, getbootstrap.com. And I just want to scroll all the way up to the top here so you guys can see where I am. But basically, um, go over to Get Bootstrap and click on the components link. And that's going to give you a menu on the side where you can uh, pick one of the components. So you can see wells are here, panels are here. Um, a lot of components that I've spoken about in the previous tutorials, like drop downs and so on, they're all here. But let's take a look at this nav bar. So I'm gonna scroll down until I can see the code. And you can see that this is actually quite a lot of code to make one little nav bar with a few links. And um, again, like I said, it reuses a lot of elements that we've uh, worked with before. So everything like from that unordered list down to this ending unordered list down here is all old code. It's code that we've used before, it's code that I've explained before, and I'm not gonna um, like go through it again. So instead, let's just copy all of this and I'm gonna paste it in my text editor. And uh, yeah, this is what I've got. And I'm gonna explain, instead of like explaining all of these things over again, I'm just gonna explain like our outer container, this top part, and this outer container here. So uh, if we take a look at this, let's just space it out better. Um, yeah, like this is all stuff we've spoken about. So let me just contract those or make them smaller uh, so that they take up less space. Let's go form, form can't close. Okay, uh, unordered list, uh, there we go. Great, so uh, like I said, this is, stuff that we've spoken about before and I don't need to explain all of that again. But let's take a look at uh, these elements basically from the top down. Uh, and now that I've got this in here, I might as well just hit save, go back to uh, my browser and hit refresh so that you guys can see that uh, we're starting with the menu brand new again. Um, and you notice that it moved out a little bit so it's not centered. And uh, the reason for that is because I changed the class over here. So we have a uh, nav element, which has a class of nav bar and nav bar defaults. So that brings through this background color. It brings through the drop shadow. That's what those are there for. Then we have a div with a class of container fluid. And that just tells our um, nav bar to take up the entire width of the browser, but I could change that to container. And like you guys all should actually know this by now, but yeah, container uh, has a max width and then gives padding on the sides. Uh, then we have uh, inside of this a div with a class of navbar header. And you can see above this div, we have a comment that says brand and toggle are grouped for better mobile display. So what the heck does that even mean? And I'll show you. Uh, let's go over to the browser. I'm gonna jump into my mobile mode or mobile display. And you can see we've got brand and we've got a toggle button. So brand and toggle, right? And so they are grouped 
uh, like this so that when you are on a phone, all you see is the brand and you see this button. And when you click on the button, uh, the rest of the menu drops down. So the menu is not taking up a lot of space on a mobile device. Uh, that's what it's there for. And uh, the way we do that is we uh, create this div inside of our container and we give that a class of navbar header. And then inside of that div, you can see we have one button. So this is all one button, guys. Uh, I know it's a lot of elements right there, but that's one button and that is our toggle button. So you can see that we have uh, a bunch of spans inside here. So this span has a class of SR only, which stands for screen reader only. And that is toggle navigation. And that just um, is there for people with disabilities like uh, who can't read that have screen readers reading to them. Uh, basically, the screen reader will tell them that this is a button to toggle the navigation, whereas the rest of us kind of know uh, this international um, hamburger symbol, I guess it's called, with the three bars. Uh, so the way Bootstrap does that is it makes use of these three spans with uh, a class of icon dash bar. And then it makes those little bars. Uh, so that is what those are there for. And you'll see that this button actually has a um, quite a lot of uh, attributes, right? So we've got data toggle. And I think you guys have kind of seen this before where um, we use data toggle on a drop down as well. So you click on the drop down and it toggles um, this unordered list inside of it to show and hide. And so that's what this uh, button is doing as well. Uh, it has a class of data toggle, which is set to collapse. So it knows that it needs to collapse something or a div. And then you've got data target. And here it references an ID. And we'll see the same ID over here uh, in this bottom div. So this is our second part of our navigation. Remember, it's the if we're in mobile display, it's this part down here. So that is our second part. Sorry, guys, I'm gonna have to have a glass of water. Huh. Yeah, my throat was uh, starting to close up right there. But we have the second part over here, which uh, is also getting hidden and displayed very much like a uh, drop down. So uh, that is what those attributes do. And then uh, if you look below this button, we also have a link uh, and this could be text over here we're using text in this example but you could use an image um, and uh, that could be an image of your logo and that's going to display in the menu at the top over here uh, and uh, yeah that is uh, this top part explained and that's what it does uh, and then we have the bottom part over here so the only new uh, part is this div which has all of these classes and that ID. Remember this ID and that ID are linked and I explained why. And then the rest of these are just classes to make sure that the uh, nav collapses or hides in a, a mobile device. Um, and yeah, from here on to here, we've already talked about. So uh, that is kind of, uh, well, I don't want to say it's all I have for this tutorial because there is one more thing I can show you, and that is um, if we take a look at this navbar, there are options for fixed to top and there are options to fixed to bottom. And these are really just one class. Um, if you want your navbar at the bottom of your page or if you want your navbar fixed to the top of your page, you can uh, copy those classes and you can add them in to the nav element over here as a third class. And when you save that and go back over to your website and refresh, uh, you can see right now my nav has jumped down to the bottom. So it is fixed to the bottom because that's the class I chose. And then I can also change this to fixed top. And that is going to fix the navigation to the top. So when I scroll, uh, if I had a lot of content in my browser, when I scrolled, the nav bar would stay fixed to the top of the page. 
And uh, yeah, I guess that's all I have for this tutorial. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment, like, and share this video. It's really gonna help my channel grow. And I'll see you guys next time.